With countless questions asked on what builds we use and how our strategies work, I thought it would be a perfect time to start a new series to answer just that. With this series of The Method Behind the Madness, I'll be breaking down, in depth, certain strategies we have found within Dark Hours to hopefully bring a little bit of clarity to the community. With that said, today we're going to zero in on the third boss of Dark Hours, Buddy and Lucy. I'm going to go ahead and just let the clip run, and then after, I'll go into a detailed breakdown of the method behind the madness. Oh, you're just taking out, okay. I just... And let's make sure that Biz has line of sight. Remember again? Yep. 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 Careful, Red. Autonomous security Careful systems. What? Yes, so Biz can... Grandma's just dead. He anyway, should be. He should face us. Shoot. Woo! <laughs> that will never Why? get old. That will never Why? get old. <laughs> That's so sick. That is sick. With that done, let's get right into the breakdown. To begin, let's look at the team composition. We'll begin by breaking down the fight into two teams, Team Buddy and Team Lucy. Each team will consist of two Regulus builds, one Nemesis build, and one Scorpio buff build. Starting with the Regulus players, these players are tasked with each landing a shot, one on the body and one on the leg. Now I know what you're thinking, why are they not just all running Nemesis builds? And the answer to that question lies within the interaction between the Dodge City Holster and the Achilles Pulse. The Dodge City Holster mixed with the Regulus actually hits for the same damage value regardless if you shoot the enemy with a headshot or a body shot pulsed area. This is due to the Dodge City Holster applying headshot damage as well as the Achilles Pulse, which interestingly enough caps you to stacking the headshot multiplier only twice and not three times. Hence the same damage values on the headshot and body shot. Now we can see that put into practice here where I hit the headshot for 68.3 million. And then in the next clip, I'll be using the same exact build, same charge, but I'll be shooting him in the body, where you can see I also hit for 68.3 million. Now, you would be right to say, well, doesn't the Nemesis still hit way harder in the head? And you'd be 100% correct. As we can see here, the Nemesis in the head hits for 78 million. However, in contrast to the Regulus, in this next clip, where I hit a body shot, the damage value drops off tremendously doing less than half of even the regular shot in the body, and that's a crit. That is why you run both Regulus builds and only one Nemesis headshot build to take the headshot on Buddy or Lucy. And just an additional side note, the reason why the testing was done in open world is because the range seems to be interesting, let's just say, when you test it with the pulses and the damage numbers seem to be inaccurate. So just a warning for anyone who wants to test the numbers they're doing, the range might not show what's actually going on. Just keep that in mind. So, moving on to the Nemesis players. These players will be using the build shown here, and are tasked with each hitting a headshot on Buddy or Lucy for whatever perspective team they're on. As from what we just mentioned previously, it will hit harder than the Regulus build due to the interaction between the Dodge City Holster and the Achilles Pulse. Finally, let's break down each individual Scorpio buff build, because they are very different. Shown above is the Lucy player's buff build. This player will be running Overwatch, Opportunistic, Scorpio, and Firewall to apply each individual buff for the team. Their build is also specced into pistol headshot damage with a Dodge City holster, just in case you may need that extra shot. However, you really shouldn't. The second Scorpio buff build is shown here, and this player is our buddy player, where he is running Future Initiative, the BTSU gloves for Overcharge, as well as Opportunistic, paired with the Scorpio 7-shot buff in order to apply us additional buffs with the Overcharge, for the Achilles Pulse, which is very important, and the timing for this seems to be around the third siren after the button is pressed, so overcharge does not fade. Also, just a warning, if you plan on using a normal pulse, scanner pulse, or spotter drone, that will have an interesting effect on the Achilles Pulse. So if you pulse normally, using any of those mentioned ways, before you Achilles Pulse, it will actually overlap the Achilles Pulse and you cannot see the boxes. Now, the boxes are still there, and you can still get the bonus damage, however, it's much harder to visualize as the boxes are invisible. So, if you plan on using any of the above, the only real option you can use is the normal pulse, and what you do is you Achilles pulse, and after the boxes are applied, that's when you normal pulse, not before. If you do before, 
the pulse marks will disappear from Achilles. Now, with everything put into place, you should successfully be able to one-shot Buddy and Lucy. Now it's up to you to take this idea and push the limits of this strategy and see what you can do with it. As let's just say, it has some potential. Focus, focus, focus. He's streaming. It's already up. Back. Uh. Yes. Okay. Go. Got him. him. Oh, oh, boom! Got him. Killed his ass. I pulsed him too. I can pulse him from the button. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to drop a comment below on what you'd like to see next on the method behind the madness.